will Arizonans ultimately blame for the chaos that unfolded at the Capitol last week? Well, for some Phoenix business leaders, they're pinning the blame on members of the Arizona GOP and other elected leaders. And as our Mark Phillips explains, it could cost their campaigns big time. The Arizona Republican Party has long been the favorite party of business. But now, leaders in the state party are threatening to trample all over that relationship. The Arizona State Republican Party uh, has been uh, extremely irresponsible and offensive in its, in its rhetoric. Count our votes! Count our votes! State Party Chair Kelly Ward has led the revolt against Arizona's election results saying President Trump's loss here was due to election fraud. State Representative Mark Fincham attended last week's protest in Washington. The line coming from the Capitol to the Ellipse is probably at least five people wide and goes for as far as you can see. Business leaders have heard enough. In a full-page ad, the Greater Phoenix Leadership Council, which represents 140 CEOs, accuses Ward and other Arizona Republican elected officials of helping to incite the violence at the U.S. Capitol. We believe there was a free and fair election and that continuing to opine otherwise to the citizens it has now proven dangerous and deadly uh, in an act of insurrection that took place at the U.S. Capitol. In the aftermath of last week's uprising at the nation's capital, Pinnacle West, the parent company of Arizona Public Service, said, we're reviewing our approach to political contributions. SRP says its political action committee will do the same thing. I don't believe there's a, a major company or entity in Arizona that's going to be contributing to any party organization that is uh, being uh, so divisive. In politics, it's often money that talks loudest, something Ward and other party leaders may have to learn the hard way if they don't soon dial down their rhetoric. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona. And ABC 15 has reached out to the spokesperson for the state Republican Party for their reaction to this story. We have not yet heard back.